My name's Jorge, I'm the founder of Macienda, and today we are going to learn how to use this beautiful La Chicharra dripper. We have experts who know more about coffee than I do, but I think it would just be much more approachable if someone who doesn't know anything about coffee taught you how to make coffee. I do all of my own stunts. Because we are now serving the best coffee from Mexico, we had to have the best coffee mug and collection to serve it with. La Chicharra made each piece by hand in their workshop just outside of the city of Oaxaca. And we have three beautiful colors to choose from, all inspired by kind of the natural elements that you find in artisanal ceramics throughout Oaxaca. This is a manual pour over method, just a little bit more control to get the perfect cup of coffee. To get started, you're gonna need a scale, a gooseneck kettle, a grinder of some kind, whether that's a burr grinder or if you've got a blade grinder at home, that'll also work. Your La Chicharra dripper and mug, as well as a number two filter. And of course, coffee. I am using Alebrije. Alebrije has this very grapefruit, uh, lime zest sort of flavor to it that to me just sort of like shocking way to wake up in the morning. I love it. Before we start brewing, it's really important uh, to one, set your temperature of water up to 205 degrees. You really don't want to get quite to boiling because it might scorch the coffee. We're going to actually wet the filter, making sure it's like actually adhering to the, the dripper and kind of getting rid of some of that flavor of the filter. For one cup, you can use just uh, 20 grams of coffee for 300 grams of water. Getting up to 300 grams of water, we're gonna kind of dose that out over 45 second intervals, more or less. So the first interval is gonna be what we call a bloom. Usually it's about double the amount of water to the coffee that we're using. So we're gonna pour 40 grams of water on top of the coffee. And the purpose of that is to release all of the CO2 that is kind of within this freshly roasted coffee. I should have a timer out but my cameraman is timing this for me. So usually you just wanna make sure you're getting this entire brewing process up to no more than three minutes total. So I'm gonna slowly pour in concentric circles over the top of the brew, just making sure I'm keeping an eye on the total weight. We're gonna let that sit for about 45 seconds and you'll start to see bubbles coming up to the top. That's the blooming process. And it's sort of offsetting some of that bitterness you would otherwise get in that cup of coffee. So now that it's been 45 seconds, I'm gonna to continue to pour 100 grams at a time. Finally finish at about 60. What's happening right now is that all of the flavors that we have kind of been building up in the roasting process are coming through the filter at the other end. So by the time this is fully done, our coffee is gonna be good. Oh man. <laughs> 